everybody, welcome back to the next part in my dialing in series for our Line 6 Helix. This week, uh, this episode, I'm going to take a look at probably one of my favorite guitar tones of all time. Um, it's Robin Ford's tone from his album Handful of Blues, specifically the song Rugged Road. I remember when I got this album, I don't even know what year this came out. I, actually, I wouldn't even want to guess. I should have checked into that before I made the video, but it doesn't matter. Um, I remember hearing this, it, the, the song Rugged Road starts the album off and he just comes in with this really cool uh, B minor blues riff and the tone is just killer, just killer. Uh, I'm guessing it's, it is Dumble. Uh, creating the overdrive tone. I don't really know that for sure. It sounds like it is. I'm not sure what guitar he played on. It could have been his signature model, could have been a 335, could have been. I decided to kind of go after that Dumbly tone using uh, Line 6 Litigator amp, and I used my Variax uh, set up as a 335, a Gibson 335. So this is just sort of the stock 335 setting when you go to your Variax and flip it over to the setting semi. For semi hollow body, I would imagine, use the bridge pickup um, with my little Klotz Audio VDI cable. I'm a little plug for those guys, they're a great company. <clears throat> so, yeah, this has been one of my favorite tones. I, I kind of always was afraid to do this tone because so many people, you know, that Dumble tone is such an iconic tone, and so many people would probably jump in and think it's not going to be right. You know, again, I never say that I'm matching these tones. Uh, this actually got really close for me. I was really enjoying this uh, by the time it was all done. So I hope you guys do too. But again, like I said, this is, you know, a standard disclaimer. I'm not claiming to have matched his tone, just getting somewhere in that ballpark. I have the performance video up. I found a backing track of the song Rugged Road. Didn't have any vocals. Uh, it did have rhythm guitar, which is pretty sparse anyways for what I'm playing over top of. There's a tiny little bit of it in the solo. So all you're hearing in uh, that performance video, the guitar I'm playing is the lead guitar and that's it. So that the other little bits of the clean guitar in the background, that's from some, just what came with the backing track. So I don't want you to think that somehow I, I came with uh, that tone from this preset or another preset, okay? So it's just the lead. So let's dive over to HX Edit and take a look at what I did. Um, by the way, go, go check out the performance video so you can hear what this tone ended up sounding like and sitting in the mix. As always, no post-processing done on it after the fact. Recorded it, uh, like I said, with the Variax on the semi setting or the, for, to, to have it uh, mimicking or modeling a Gibson ES-335 on the bridge pickup. All right, so uh, let's start here. Dynamics processor, same old thing for anybody who's watched my videos. Peak reduction at 5.5 or 5.5, gain at 5, uh, mix at 100%. EQ, really nothing going on other than uh, my low cut at 100 hertz like normal, but the high cut I pulled all the way back to six kilohertz. So a very, very aggressive high cut on this. It needed it, it, it to my ears, it needed it to get that tone the way I wanted it. Um, reverb was a plate reverb with a decay of 3.6 and a pre-delay of 15 milliseconds just to let the initial note kind of pop out before the reverb got on top of it. A uh, mix of 30%. I set the tempo to 139, which is uh, roughly the, the tempo of the backing track that I was playing on for Rugged Road, and I guess the actual the tempo of the song itself. But I set a simple delay, kind of with almost like a slap back type of an effect. Uh, set it as 16th note, feedback of zero, and a mix of 25%. And I, I'll, I'll play you the tone without it, and then I'll put it on. You'll see how I, I almost get a feeling that's how Robin was getting his ambience. It almost gives it a reverb type quality on top of the reverb, but it just, it got close to what he had. So you guys can tell me if you like that. Um, the split crossover, 650 hertz. I boosted everything above that by 1.1 dB and didn't touch everything below it. The cab I used was a 212 Interstate, um, which was the Dr. Z cab, I believe. Um, and it's one of my favorite cabs, uh, stock cabs within the Helix, really amazing. Uh, the 121 ribbon mic, one of my favorites at a distance of 4.5 inches. Okay, let's take a look at the amp settings. Here's what I did on the amp, the Line 6 lit Litigator, which is supposed to be kind of, uh, I, I know they've never come out and said, oh, this is a Dumble copy, but I, from what I've gathered, it's that boutique-y kind of Dumbly tone they're going after. So, drive crank to 10, bass crank to 10, mid crank to 10, treble on zero, Presence crank to 10, channel volume on eight and a half, master on 10. So it's almost like this thing is just dimed wide open except for the treble which is turned off. Crazy because I'm using a dark ribbon mic, right? The 121 and I'm doing a pretty aggressive high cut 
and I'm pulling all the treble up, but I add all the presence in and I give it a slight boost with the split crossover. So very different. I was actually kind of surprised at the settings, but it got it to where I wanted it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's shut off our split crossover. Let's shut off our EQ, our verb, and our delay, and hear what those settings on the amp sound like just going into the compressor, okay? And remember, again, I'm on my Variax on the 335 semi setting, right? Okay, so that's what this sounds like. <laughs> grainy abrasiveness to it. Okay, I'm going to bring in the EQ, which has that aggressive high cut to it, okay, and hear what that does. See how it smoothed it out. You know, a lot of times I want some of that that sort of fizziness on the top end if I'm playing some rock stuff, but this tone is very smooth. Robin has that very interesting creamy uh, uh, sound to his tone that's just, uh, I think it really requires getting rid of some of that high end fizziness. <laughs> Okay, so let's bring the split crossover back in just to brighten it up a touch. You hear it? I'm going to turn that off. Very subtle, but it just gives it that little bit of brightness, opens up the top end that lets it cut through the mix a little bit better. Okay, so that's the, the, the basic tone, but now let's bring our reverb in and add a little bit of uh, ambience to this. That's dry. Now, and that's not a huge amount of ambience. Here's where though that delay comes in. I think it makes a huge difference. So here it is without. And with. So a big difference, right? With that in, I really think that kind of gets very close in the ballpark of Robin's tone on that song, Rugged Road. Right on. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty close. Go listen to the performance video. Give it a give it a good listen. Always try to listen to this on a decent set of headphones, or um, a decent set of speakers or studio monitors. Because otherwise, you know, a lot of people I, I notice, you know, like to listen on phones and stuff. You're not going to hear the little intricate details of like adding that split crossover and you know with 1.1 dB boost shelf boost, right? You know, that's going to be lost on a little tiny speaker that's not designed to you know, really play back the full frequency spectrum. So uh, let me know what you think of the performance video. One of my favorite tunes, and this has quickly become one of my favorite tones. I really, really like this tone. 
Very nice stuff. So this will be up on Custom Tone for you guys. Anybody who's interested, go grab it. Um, thanks for tuning in. Like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share the video if you don't mind. I really appreciate the support, everybody. I've got some uh, new preset packs up on Line 6 Marketplace. Um, the link will be in the description below. Uh, you know, if you want to purchase one of those, it helps support me to keep doing all the free videos too. And I, and you know, I had a few folks say like, oh, now you're selling presets. Well, you know what? I'm selling some. I have a whole bunch of free stuff. I'm going to continue to do some free stuff. You know, it, you're welcome to grab some or you're welcome to just use the free stuff. Either way is fine. All right. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I will be back soon with more content. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. Ciao for now.